So I broke my clutch the other day while riding home and luckily I was close to the house and I figured it might be a quick fix of the cable but when I pulled the uh, the side case loose I realized it was an input shaft and I was just devastated thinking I would be without my bike while I waited on a part but that was not to be. And that's kind of the story I want to tell today is how I fixed this what looks like maybe a $20 uh, piece of metal that's relatively simple. Uh, it's just a straight piece of metal, stainless, with uh, with some tapered ends here. And uh, uh, with the help of a, <laughs> of a supplier, I was able to fabricate uh, a new piece. And it, so far, it's working great. But that's the story today. <laughs> But what I found was not a broken cable, but a broken input shaft. And this shaft that broke is, uh, the brake is actually outside the case. So what I'm assuming here, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bend right here um, in the shaft. And this is the portion that's inside the case here, or at least goes in and out right here. But it's, it's got an actuator here that pushes the shaft in when you pull the cable up. And just looking at the, the, um, this rod, you can see some scuffing here. It looks like maybe the chain got into it. Because the, the chain basically rolls right here, or the, the um, counter sprocket is right here, basically, right in front of the shaft. And uh, I've been having problems with the chain popping off the uh, sprockets. And I'm assuming that somehow I'm getting slack in that chain. I just, I cannot figure it out. I'll tighten the, I'll tighten the chain. Two or three days later, the thing pops off the, the sprocket. And I have no idea what's going on. But the result was uh, um, a broken input shaft. But uh, I panicked. <laughs> when I saw this, it's like, wow, this is going to take me two or three weeks to get this freaking shaft. So I'm very hopeful that my little fabrication method will work. Here is the the broken input shaft, and I'm pretty sure I know why it broke. But uh, the uh, actuator on the cable um, at the crankcase actuates. It actually is kind of like a screw, and it pushes this shaft in and uh, releases the clutch. And I went to try to find somebody that would weld this because I figured what's the chances of me finding some stainless in this diameter walked into the couldn't find anybody on the island to uh, to weld because nobody answers their phone <laughs> and uh, so I went into the motorcycle shop because I figured those guys know how to weld and uh, maybe they can hook me up instead the guy walks out and gives me this and I said that's not the same diameter is it and he said yeah and he pulled out the micrometer mic'd it same stuff so he gave me this stock for free so now i'm not i'm no longer mad at those guys for for overcharging me mounting a couple of tires recently i bad mouthed them I, I was angry but this is the this is what i cut out of one piece it's even uh it's even got a taper on both ends and kind of rolled over the ends it's not perfect, but I uh, just want to see if it fits. That's the, the main thing. And it's pretty close. If anything, it's probably going to be oversized. This is the, the technical way of measuring. Yeah, it's almost exactly, at least from my feeler gauge on my fingers. <laughs> so now to pop this thing back in, see if it works. Now this shaft is actuated by this little device here. And that shaft, let's see which one I want to stick in there. This looks like the nicer. So after a few more minutes of getting my fingers even greasier, because this is the spot where all the chain lube <laughs> uh, slings off, uh, and you can see the uh, counter sprocket um, up there just uh, behind that shaft, and everything was pretty greasy and dirty and filthy and but i got it all put back together it took a few tries to figure out how this uh this lever screw actuator punching whatever thing works but i got it figured out and uh 
had to do some adjustments on both ends of the screws and the cable so uh, but once I got it put back together I got on the bike for a test ride and voila that's French in case you don't know voila it worked and it worked uh, shockingly well and I was very excited feels a lot smoother too the pull is much easier probably because it's been bent all this time alright I'm back on the road that's really good and when I say really good, I mean really good. Uh, I just, uh, I was really upset thinking I was going to have to wait for two or three weeks for this part to come in and then fix the damn bike. And uh, this is really my only uh, transportation here. Unlike the mainland, I've got other wheels. But uh, here, I just have to borrow one of these vehicles here. So that would really suck. But uh, I still haven't quite figured out what the why the chain is popping off. There's almost nowhere that I can tell on either sprocket, chain, everything looks perfect. Um, I'm only thinking about bearing, the uh, counter countershaft bearing maybe. I don't know. I, if you guys got any ideas, I would love to hear your ideas and maybe, uh, maybe be less surprised next time. And hopefully if I get it fixed, I won't break that uh, throw out bearing. But even if I do, it's a quick fix as long as I can get the bike home. Yeah, leave me a leave me a comment if you've got any ideas about why my chain keeps popping off. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, y'all. I meant to do that. <laughs> uh. The sprockets look amazing. I I don't understand. I would think they would be acting up, but they're not. That thing's back in there, so I'm. I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at right now.